Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I will be going over some tips and tricks and little secrets that my husband and I did to conceive baby number three in my belly. But before I get into today's video, I wanted to show you guys a little bump of my, not a little bump, I wanted to show you guys my bump. Um, and so you guys can see what the baby looks like right now at 22 weeks. Let me show you. So I am in my daughter's room, don't mind, but this is what baby is looking like right now at 22 weeks. If you guys haven't already, don't forget to like this video if you do like it and subscribe to my channel and hello to all my new subscribers. Thank you all so much for joining. For my returning subscribers, you guys already know that I am pregnant and we are pregnant with a baby boy. If you haven't seen those videos yet, I will link them down below um, and go ahead and check those out. So the first, the first thing that I actually did when my husband and I were thinking about conceiving baby number three is I went ahead and picked up these prenatal vitamins. So I found these at Target. Um, and the only reason I went with the Target brand is because it was way cheaper than actually going through my doctor. The next thing that I did want to mention is I used my phone a lot. When I was preparing to conceive baby number three, I did a lot of research on my phone and I also downloaded an app. It's called Pre-Mom, I believe. And I will share it with you guys here on my screen. Um, but so I downloaded Premom, and that also came with the Easy at Home ovulation test strips. So I mainly use these in the beginning because I wanted to track my cycle and see what my cycle was doing um, to figure out when I was ovulating, when my period was going to start, and how long my cycle would be. So I went ahead and picked these up. I picked these up at Amazon, on Amazon, sorry. And I will link that down in the description box below. But it comes in a pack of 50. It's very affordable. I believe I bought like three or four boxes. Um, and that's how many I used. But they're very affordable. So I mean, I didn't mind. But that's mainly what I used. And then I used this little notebook. I actually bought it at the dollar store. Very convenient to just pick up a little notepad at the dollar store. And I used it to track my cycles. So... I went ahead and just stuck them in here, put them with a little piece of tape, and then wrote the, the date and time that I took the test, just to help me better understand, and the cycle day. Um, hopefully that's helpful. I know when it came to writing stuff down, I didn't really care, but once I started to see a difference in the strips and better understanding them, I went and took a lot of notes and determining you know, what each line meant, the darker ones, the lighter ones, um, what was not consistent or anything like that helped me out a lot also when you're going in between cycles too to see what your body's been doing because my periods were very irre irregular and so there were some cycles that I would be like 28 days long some will be 32 some will be 30 so I liked that I was able to keep it all in my little notebook and figure out what my body was actually doing and what it was up to so it helped me better understand my cycle. Hopefully this helps you guys. I found this very neat and very helpful to use. Um, with that being said, with the uh, ovulation test, rip, test strips that I picked up, there came a little card. I wish I would have saved it, but I didn't. There came a little card that said to download an app. So I went ahead and downloaded it. It's called Premom. So it came with that box. Every time I took an ovulation test, I went ahead and charted it on here. They do say if you want to go ahead and like take a picture of it and log it on your phone, but I didn't want to because I felt like every time I was taking a picture of it, it didn't read my test strip correctly depending on the lighting. So I don't recommend taking a picture of your test strip on this app because I didn't find it very helpful. It might work for you. I'm not sure. Um, of course, you can download different apps. I've heard of so many apps that can help you when tracking your cycle, but they're not always accurate and that's why I went with the test strips and this app because mine were never accurate. Um, I remember when I, we were trying with my second, the app was very incorrect. So it said it was okay, it was correct when it came to my period starting but it was incorrect on the days that I ovulated. So with that being said, I recommend downloading at least two, three apps to see which one is best for you or which one you like or which one will work in your favor. So with this app, 
I went ahead and wrote like the day that it happened, the day that I ovulated, the day I started my period. And it was very, very helpful to have this app handy. Um, definitely recommend it. And um, that's what I did for that. And then I also, when it came to ovulation, I went ahead and starting started writing down notes. There is a little section at the bottom that comes with like a little pencil in the corner and it shows you that you can go ahead and write in notes and it'll give you, if I go into it, it just says like what your cervical mucus was that month, what what was the position, the the ovulation did what symptoms did you have moods um, the flow of spotting of your period and then symptoms it just goes into depth like did you have constipation headache vomiting nausea and that helps you better honestly it helped me better understand like oh this is why this happened and then that's why I was feeling that way that day um, so that really helped me for my two-week weight symptoms and I'll link that video down below that's how I knew that I was pregnant because I had a lot of these symptoms I'm like okay this has to be related to my pregnancy I forgot to mention as well, I also picked up these little cups at the dollar store. These cups became very handy because I was kind of grossed out peeing in something and then we're washing it and stuff. So I picked up these little cups that came in a pack of 10 at the dollar store. Definitely recommend picking these up. Um, go ahead and, you know, pee in them and then you can either toss it or rinse it or wash it, whatever you need to do. But I found this better than using a regular cup. Not saying I would have used a regular cup, but definitely recommend picking these up so uh, there is another thing that I did on my end to help me prepare my body to conceive so I actually went ahead and changed my diet a little bit I was eating a little bit healthier I made sure that I was eating a lot of fruits and vegetables and making sure I was hydrated I wasn't hydrated very much I was always like I always felt like I was thirsty and dizzy and then once I kept up on like eating healthier and being hydrated I felt way better and my body felt way better yeah so those are the things that helped me uh, of course it took us three cycles in to go ahead and conceive baby number three but I am so thankful and grateful that it happened when it did and I feel like it happened rather quickly but of course when those months were coming along like I felt like the days were going by so slow every time I was doing a test trip I was like oh, okay can I ovulate already like can I get my period already like if it's not gonna happen you know Stuff like that, I got very anxious and very um, antsy when it came to those things. And I know that it's better if you are not thinking of it, thinking of it as much and you are more relaxed. Because if you're stressing your body out when you're thinking of it, I really hope that this video became useful and you guys got at least a little bit of information of the things that I used and the things that we did to conceive baby number three. We don't have a name yet, but when we do, I will let you guys know. It is so hard to find a boy name, but um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!